Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Hollow Knight. Uh, I have a confession to make. Uh, I was gonna record another episode, well, I started to record another episode after finishing the previous episode, but there were two issues. One of the issues is that uh, I actually forgot to record any audio. The second issue is that I ran into an extremely difficult boss. Uh, this is where I went, and I'm trying to like retrace my steps here. Uh, I should send this back down. So this is where I went. I went to the place that I predicted would be a boss fight. Turns out it is a boss fight. Up here... It's probably the most difficult boss of this game so far. Uh, these motherfuckers are tough. One of the things I did figure out is that there's a secret passage and here you can drop a chandelier that kills one of them before the fight starts. You can see him like pierce there. But these motherfuckers are difficult, let me tell you that. This boss is... well, crazy. Boss is, I should say. So this is how it goes. This is the Watcher Knight. So... He's kind of like a roly-poly ass boss. It's like, essentially, Blanca from Street Fighter. Only problem being, there are more than one Blancas. Which, let me tell you, is a major, major problem because these four, because this is, this is what happens. Uh, First of all, it's pretty much impossible to heal during this fight. Second of all, they can get like very uh, off pattern. Yeah, and this is how if I would have started that recording, which I didn't start, it pretty much would have been that for like 20 minutes, because before I realized I wasn't recording, I was uh, hella, hella stuck on this boss. And I'm still very much stuck. I have no fucking clue what to do. Um, they're ju just the, the pattern that they function with. I get it. They only have three attacks. They only have three attacks, and that should make it not very difficult to fight them, but... The problem is, when there's two of them, and they get into a certain rhythm, you can literally get yourself into situations where uh, it is impossible to avoid damage. And the issue is, you basically have no chance to heal. This isn't a boss fight where I've realistically found a place where you have a chance to heal yourself. And that is a concern. That is a big, big concern. So like, again, like realistically, thinking about it, this shouldn't be difficult. But this like attack pattern that they have, just absolutely fucking crazy. See, this is, this is the issue. Like, now two of them spawned. And that's... <sighs> and, and you have no chance. You have absolutely zero chance to heal. And again, I, I have no idea what to do. I literally have no idea what to do. Uh, so this is a problem. This is a major problem because this is 100% where we need to progress and this is the most frustrating boss of this game by a mile so far. So I don't know boys, I don't know. I think I'm gonna start cutting the attempts after this one and we'll just... I'll, I'll eventually get them, like there's no, there's no other possibility other than me eventually getting them, but it's just, you know. 
After having such a successful boss fight against that broken vessel or whatever it was called, this is kind of a letdown for me, because I don't know, I don't know, whatever. Uh, we'll we'll keep trudging on. It's a weird word, trudging. I don't know why I thought of that, but yeah. What the fuck can I do? Oh, he has that as well. And I'm already fucked. Yeah, this is... This is basically... An attempt that pretty much looks dead. Maybe not. I... No! Fuck! Yeah, okay. I, ha I hate this rolling attack. Th that That's the... When I talk about situ situations where it's like impossible to avoid getting hit, I talk about... Yeah. Maybe I should just shut up and concentrate. This is the best I've done so far. God, there's a lot of them. Oh, I hate that. Shit. Shit. There's still one more. Oh no, it's dead. Am I down to the last one? I think I am. Okay, just stay cool. 
Stay cool. I think I actually beat them. That was the most insane boss of this game so far. Holy fucking shit. That was insane. It was literally insane. Uh, maybe because I have a tendency to not do well with like multi-enemy boss fights. But it, this was a weird one, man, because on paper, like this should have been so easy. Oh, that is a lot of cash. This should have been so easy. I mean, it's literally an enemy that only has three attacks. But man, when they got like off pattern and they were like on opposite ends of you and just like doing hella random shit. That was kind of insane. That's like Blanca. That was literally, they had Blanca attacks. And we all know how fun Blanca is to deal with. I think even people outside of the Street Fighter realm know that Blanca is pretty much just an awful character to deal with. And that gave me major Blanca vibes. Okay. Can you get off? Yes, you can. Well, hold on just a second. Let's start from... St start from the bottom here. Or maybe not. Okay, there ain't shit here. There is something here. Sleep beckons eternal, and these words become my last. Through my gaze shall no longer fall up though my gaze shall no longer fall upon the city, I will forever act in its protection. Interesting. Is that was that said by the dreamer? Okay, I think we have to go back to the bottom and call the elevator back. That is a This is a long ass tower. Damn. It's gonna take like a year until this elevator gets back down. Man, I, I cannot believe it because that was that was a major, major struggle. That boss might not have looked like that, but it sure felt like that. All right, let's go up. Look out over the city. Oh, nice. Oh, this is cool. Well, we cannot see much, can we? That is interesting. That's so cool, though. That visual of the raining city. Yep. Oh, hello. Let's leave that thing alone. For now. I will reconsider its fate when we get out of here. I think if we hit it with this for King Beloved. Yeah. Sorry about that, bruh. So we have two out of three. Oh shit. I always forget. You gotta do this. Gather that Quan, you know. So yeah, we have two hours out of three. So I'm interested in what this is gonna... Well, it's not gonna unlock anything. This doesn't give you abilities. Right? Cool, cool. Oh, now he attacks you. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right. Well, we have two out of three. There's only one tiny problem now. And that tiny problem is now that we've done that. Where in the fuck do we actually go? I'm going to have to look at my map, like my world map. Uh, we have the 
palace grounds. So from what it looks like, we've pretty much cleared out the ancient basin. Well, there is the like there is a path with the tram that I've not like looked at. I don't remember if we could take that path. I don't remember if I tried going to the right. I genuinely don't. Imagine we have to fight another. Oh man. That would be... I'd be pissed if we had to do that. But we don't. So I was gonna say... I never actually tried going to the right from the tram. So I think that is what I'm gonna do. Unless, what the hell is up here? Did I come this way? I think I did, yeah. This is like, this unlocked something. Oh, uh, bench. I should know where this bench is of the... Like, from my heart. Because it's dying so much. But I actually don't. I guess I like blocked out where to go from the trauma, you know. Oh yeah. Ain't nothing gonna be stopping me. Maybe this guy will, but this is not where we have to go. It's the other way, actually. By the way, man, I haven't given like a lot of engaging commentary in this episode. It's pretty much been me being frustrated at the boss and like orgasming over defeating this boss. But hey, isn't that what we all play Souls games for? I feel like that's kind of the idea. So I think what we're gonna shoot for is, yeah, get out of here. And take the elevator. Not the elevator. The... Oh, did I not... What the hell? I'm stupid. I missed this treasure chest. It's not exactly that I'm, like, short on cash. In fact, I'm, like, drowning in coins. I have no idea what to spend them on. I should go back to... Dirt mouth, because like I I unlocked the shopkeeper, you know, like I unlocked more of his stuff. Okay, so we have those two things to take care of. We're only twenty one minutes into this episode. I have actually quite a bit to cut out. Not quite a bit, but I have a couple of attempts that I would like to edit. Because my rage went beyond acceptable levels. Uh, which is, you know, not an image. Image, I said it like a French person. Not an image I like to present on this channel, you know. I'm supposed to be calm and collected. But sometimes it just don't happen. So far, this game has... Not frustrated me at all, actually. Uh, even the Mantis Lords, which were previously the most difficult boss, I would say, were okay. Alright, bruh. We're going to Dirt Mouth. And then after, I think we're pretty clear on where to go. So yeah, that's just the thing, like... This game is actually weirdly relaxing. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not the talkative sort. We have Mask Shard, Vessel Fragment, Elegant Key, Heavy Blow, and Sprint Master. Fuck it. 
living dangerously. And you know what? I'm going to buy this too. Because I got hella cash. Listen. If I have chance, a chance, grammar is failing me. If I have a chance to get another HP, just another HP, I'd be happy as hell. That's the hidden station, right? Because I feel like that's like the thing to go for <clears throat> in this game. Yeah, and we gotta go up. I'm hoping this will work because if it doesn't, I will once again go or have to go into where the fuck do I go mode. I cannot believe that doesn't work. That must be like some like optional super boss. It's the only thing I can think of. Like the fucking Omega weapon. Or Ruby weapon, that's the thing. That's what it's called. The Omega weapon in Final Fantasy is like the general super boss. It shows up in multiple games. And then FF7 had Diamond weapon and Ruby weapon. Which, that's what I'm curious about in the remake. Like, how the hell are they going to handle that? Like all the super bosses and shit. By the way, yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy re remake looks awesome. Final Fantasy 7 remake. Uh, because I'm going to be honest with you, I've never played Final Fantasy VII, uh, straight up. I know that might be like a gaming sin to some people. I have played Crisis Core, and I really enjoyed Crisis Core. Well, you know, I shouldn't say I've never played Seven because I have played it for a little bit, but I just find found it like way too jarring. I think it's the character sprites. Because, you know, even Eight... Uh, it goes for like a more realistic style, even though the game doesn't look like smooth by today's standards. It still kind of it still kind of works somehow. And then seven, I found just like offsettingly clunky looking, uh, which actually isn't an issue with. I think I have been here, which isn't an issue with something like nine where you know oh yeah this is definitely where we need to go next it isn't an issue with a game like nine because that one has like a unique art style in terms of art direction that makes any sense you know like what i'm saying uh i didn't rest at the bench whatever what the hell do you see that thing rolling around that's kind of crazy uh so that's why I've never actually played a bit more than like the initial opening of FF7. But I did play and enjoy the hell out of Crisis Core. That's like my one of my favorite PSP games. So what I'm trying to get at is the remake looks a lot like Crisis Core, and that makes me very, very happy. A happy camper. So I will check out that game for sure. Don't know if streamed. Oh shit! <laughs> if I had a if I had a webcam set up, which actually I did start the series off with a webcam. I don't know. It just kind of stopped. I. Don't know if it was add, adding anything to it. With streaming, is different because you're interacting more with people. What I was gonna say is, if I had a webcam, I would be, I would have looked at it with, with a face, you know, a disappointed face. Sick. They're not dead. Damn. I was trying to be cool there. It didn't exactly work out. What the hell even is this area? Can we just pause for a second? It's like this crazy ass area. It's like bees or whatever. It looks like bees. 
Because we had the spider area, we had like the mantis area. The odd one out so far is the mushroom area. That's the one that like doesn't make any sense. But hey. More power to you. Mushrooms. Actually, I can store more now. Yep. So no sign of corn effects so far, which means that as ever, I'm like going off of instinct here. Okay. I was going to say this is a short. Oh, no. This is what I want to see. Kingdom's Edge. I like my boy with the papers when he shows up. What the hell is this place? It's always some shit falling from the sky in this game. What is this, snow? This is gonna be like a platform heavy area. I mean, these things aren't even that hostile. I don't know why I'm like murdering them so intently. Because they, they aren't even doing shit to me. Yeah, this looks like this is gonna be platforming heavy. Well, whatever. I don't know where corn effects is. I forgot about these enemies. We'll go back there and have a look. What the f a fucking heat seeking missile? Okay, eat shit, bird. This looks like. Oh, fuck. Hold on, you could swim through that? Man, I'm a dumbass. Alright, ne never mind. I didn't know that was a thing. Well. I always learn something new. What the hell is this place? Cannot progress just yet there. Whatever that is. See, this is the thing that is difficult to kind of gauge with these types of games. Like, you don't actually know how much stuff you've missed. Oh, what a, this is a tricky motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, this is something. I might have, like, shorted myself on cash. It goes back to the City of Tears, and there is a bench at the bottom, and I have been... Okay, keep that in mind. I've been going for a long time in terms of recording time. Holy shit. What the hell are these enemies? They have a lot of HP. Please tell me this is not going to be like a buy a bench type deal. Because then I'm going to be... I'm going to be in trouble. Okay, I'm nearly dead. I would prefer not being dead. Cool. See if we can get there in record time. Oh, they just like go past you. It's not actually that hostile. These motherfuckers, on the other hand, though. It's so difficult to tell what kind of damage that does. Oh shit, that's still a long way away. Way whoa, okay, hello. 
Okay, I'm getting like majorly fucked up. Shit. It cannot come up here. Holy fuck, man. There we go. Yeah, I think... Well, it's actually... We're getting close. You know what? Screw you. I ain't finding more of these things. Just want to get to the bench. Thank fuck for that. Alright, boys. I think with that, we're going to call it a day. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Hollow Knight. We actually got more done than I thought we would. I thought I was going to be stuck with that boss for a long, long time. But we're not. So yeah, thanks for watching. We have a bench. We'll pick it up from here next time. So peace out. See you.